Everest John Alexander here with the first in the series on 10 reasons why a born-again Christian can neither lose nor give up their salvation. This is reason number one. I'm reading from the Bible, John chapter 10, verses 27 and 28. Here's what it says. My sheep, Jesus Christ is speaking, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. What's happening here? Jesus Christ, who is almighty God in the flesh, almighty God in the form of a human being, he is saying <laughs> that his sheep shall never perish. He made five statements about his sheep, right? Uh, they hear his voice, they follow him, um, uh, they, they, he knows them, right? Uh, he gives them eternal life and they shall never perish. Five statements God made about his sheep. Now, what do you not see in that passage of scripture? You do not see the word if. That's what's missing, the word if. He never said if you do this, if you do, there's no if. So it's not conditional, okay? Jesus is making five definitive statements about his sheep. He knows them, he, they follow him, they hear his voice. He gives them eternal life, they shall never perish. The word perish there <laughs> is the Greek word Apollo me, all right? It means to, to be destroyed, to be ruined, to be lost, and to suffer misery eternally in hell. <laughs> you cannot get it plainer and simpler than that. That's what the word perish means. We know it doesn't just mean physically die, because Christians physically die all the time. It means spiritual death, eternal death, right? The word never, right, is a Greek word, ume, it's a double negative. It means no, never, none, in no way, in no wise, not at all. <laughs> Right? It also carries with it the connotation of time. It means per 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 perpetuity, for eternally. So, so never, ever, ever shall you <laughs> lose your salvation. You shall not perish. You, you cannot, you will not die spiritually. You will not suffer e eternally in hell. People, it cannot be plainer and simpler than that. This is the very first reason why. You cannot lose nor give up your salvation because Jesus said so and Jesus Christ is almighty God. He cannot lie. Keep tuning in.